Hello friends, welcome again to the world of maths by Amir. Now, this is again time for your question, my solution, a must do before cat and jet. So, question is in front of you, find the coefficient of x cube y4 and z5 in the expansion of xy plus yz plus zx raised to power 6. An easy question, but the conceptual. You must know this before your examination. First of all, we discuss the detailed concept of this question, then try to solve this question. Okay, let's check the concept first. If you have any term, say x plus y raised to power n, first of all, we need to find a general term or any term, say if we have term x a y b, so you must know one thing, the summation of power must be equal to the total power. So that's why we called it nothing but the power distribution. Whenever you have a term x a into y raised to power b, we need to divide power in two groups. We have the total n power we need to divide in a two groups a and b. So first we give n c a ways than the remaining that is n minus a in the b ways. So the coefficient of this one or the term should be n c a into n minus a c b into x a into y b. This should be the term. Same goes with three variable. If we need to find x a, y b and z c, the condition should be a plus b plus c must be equal to n because this one is nothing but the power distribution and we have to divide n into three groups a, b, c. We need to divide power into three groups a, b, c. By the permutation combination, we say n c a Remaining is n minus a c b combination and the remaining is n minus a minus b c c. So this one is the coefficient followed by x a y b z c. So we do not need to write this long expression in the combination. We can directly write this one is nothing but n factorial divided by a factorial into b factorial. If we simplify we get this. If we simplify this, we will get nothing but the n factorial divided by a factorial into b factorial into c factorial. So now we can generalize our term very easily. If we have x plus y plus z plus w raised to power n and we want x a y b z c w d. So our first condition must be a plus b plus c plus d equal to n otherwise it won't hold as a term of the given expression. Now we need to divide n into groups a b c d. So this should be n factorial upon a factorial upon b factorial upon c factorial upon d factorial and the product. So this could be one of the term or the general term of this expression. So I hope you can understand it now. Even if you have say x plus 2y minus 3z raised to power n and you want something called x a, y b and z c. So you have to do power distribution n into three groups a factorial, b factorial, c factorial. But x cannot be alone it with the 1. So we have to say 1a. How comes? Because this one is x into 1a. Y B it means what? It should be 2 Y raised to power B. So we have to write the coefficient of Y as one of the term. And Z is what? Minus 3 into minus 3 raised to power C. So we have to do two things. One is the power distribution. One is the coefficient distribution. Then only we can find the R general term or the any term. So I hope this one is clear. For better clarity, I am solving few questions, then we will jump to our main question. If we have x plus y minus z raised to power 6 and we are looking for what is the coefficient of x square into y into z cube. How we can say this one is one of the terms because the power total is nothing but 6. So we can say this could be one of the general terms. So what would be the coefficient? First of all, divide the power. So we have 6 factorial upon 2 factorial into 1 factorial into 3 factorial in the 3 groups of the 2, 1 and 3. Then we need to divide the coefficient. Coefficient of x is 1 and x want the power of 2. Coefficient of y is 1 and y want power of 1 and coefficient of z is minus 1 want 3. So this one is nothing but 
सेवन ट्वेंटी अपॉन टू इंटू वन इंटू सिक्स इंटू माइनस वन माइनस वन इज ऑफ माइनस वन रेस्ट पॉल क्यू सो वी हैव नथिंग बट ट्वेल्व सिक्सटी सो दिस वुड बी माइनस सिक्सटी सो दिस वन इज आर आंसर इफ द क्वेश्चन इज फाइन द कोफिशियंट ऑफ दिस टर्म सो आई होप दिस वन इज क्लियर नाउ वी नीड टू सॉल्व आर मेन क्वेश्चन सो दिस वन इज आर मेन क्वेश्चन इन विच we have xy yz zx no problem we have say xy raised to power a consider this one is a single term into yz raised to power b and zx raised to power c this one are general term with the power distribution which is nothing but 6 factorial upon a factorial into b factorial into c factorial and the coefficient of all is 1 so there is no need to do for the coefficient distribution so if we find the value of a b c we can solve this question easily so how can we find the value of abc from here we can say we have x a and the plus c so for the y we have y a plus b because we have y here y here for the z we have nothing but z b plus c and the one mother condition is what we must have a plus b plus c is equal to 6 the power distribution should always be equal to the main power now With the question, we have a plus c is equal to three. So, with the question, we have a plus c is equal to three. But a plus b plus c is equal to six. So, we can say b must be three. I am again repeating. Uh, we are equating our the general term with the quotient term. We have x cube a plus c should be three, and a plus b plus c is equal to six. The mother condition b should be three. Now for the y coefficient, y raised to power four, y is nothing but a plus b raised equal to four. So we can say c must be equal to two with the mother condition. For the z, we have nothing but b plus c equating the power with the quotient is nothing but five. So a must be equal to one. So we get a b c value, which one is nothing but one three two, and our coefficient is nothing but six factorial upon a factorial. Into b factorial into c factorial, so six factorial is nothing but seven twenty. A given is one, so this would be one. B given is nothing but three, so this would be three factorial. That means six and two. So this again gives sixty as an answer. So this one is how we find the coefficient of any terms in the any expansion with the creating general terms, power distribution. Coefficient distribution. If we have any other coefficient, now for the better practice, I am solving another question. Okay, this one is our question. We need to find the coefficient of x four, y four, z four in the expansion of x y plus two y z minus z x. So this one is your class work. I would say please pause and solve the class work question. Then we'll do a homework question. So please pause the video. I hope you have paused, tried, and solved the question and posted the answer of the class work question. so we need to say we have our terms x y raised to power a uh 2 y z raised to power b and minus z x raised to power c our mother condition must be a plus b plus c equal to 6 so if we expand we'll get nothing but this one so we can say if we work on x x is nothing but a x is nothing but c a plus c work on y Y is nothing but a. Y is nothing but b. Y plus b. Work on z. Z is nothing but b plus c. So this one is our term, and we need to do the power distribution. What do you mean by the power distribution? Six factorial divided by a factorial, b factorial, c factorial, and the coefficient distribution. Coefficient of x y is one, so no need of coefficient distribution. But here it is two, and two raised to power b. And z is nothing but minus one raised to power c. So we have to find six factorial upon a factorial, b factorial, c factorial, and two raised to power a and minus one raised to power c. So the coefficient of this term is six factorial divided by a factorial into b factorial into c factorial, two raised to power b and minus one raised to power c. So this one is our coefficient. Now we need to equate the quotient with the general term. X raised to power a plus c in the question x raised to power four. So we can say a plus c is equal to four. For the y, we'll get a plus b is nothing but four. For the z, we can say b plus c is nothing but but four. So we can say a equal to b equal to c is equal to two with the mother condition a plus b plus c equal to six. 
So we get all the values of ABC. We need to put this value in our coefficient term. Okay. We have 6 factorial divided by 2 into 2 into 2 and 2 raised to power 2 minus 1 raised to power 2. So this becomes 2 square cancel out minus 1 of no use 720 divided by 2 is nothing but 360 is the coefficient of this term and this one is our answer. So we practiced one class work. Now it's your time to solve the homework. Now the homework is in front of you. I would say must solve this question before your examination of CAD, JAT or other standard aptitude examination and post the answer in the comment box. If you have any doubt, please rewind the video, check the concept once again and still if you have any doubt, feel free to ping me any social network site. Okay, with all best wishes, myself from here, God bless you. Happy learning and happy chat. Bye-bye. Hi guys, do subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss out any updates.